So this video, I just want to show how that device down there, that little box, that is called a solid state relay. So it's basically, I believe it would be like, it's like a normal relay, mechanical relay. But I believe it's inside of it, it's inside like, it's like a transistor or an SCR type of circuit. The red and the black lead are DC input, it's a 3 to 32 volts. Like, I don't, I thought maybe that was bad because this device machine wasn't working. So this is my test setup. So, as I said, those red and black are DC, that's the trigger. Think of that like your relay coil, as the, like the old relays. So those come over here to a little bench power supply. Right now, this is all off. I just said, decided 3 to 32 volts, I gave it 12 volts. So then I ran this cord out always. I plugged it into that. And I have another thing here. This is basically an old cord with some clips on it. Some people call that a widow maker. I have one clip on the load and the SCR. The other one's a probe to my wiggy meter. You can't really test these with ohm meter as far as I know. So when I plug that in, so then the SC, so then the solid state really goes over back to the neutral on the, on the test lead here. And that test lead they wasn't quite long enough, so I ran it in a cord over here. So I'm going to try and show you how this test setup works. I'm going to zoom in up here. Focus. Focus, please. Come on. Alright, I guess that'll have to do. So, let's say I plug the test lead in. This is going to put power the meter. I have nothing. When I plug in the power supply, you'll probably see the needle move, and should, we shouldn't see the wiggy move, and you might be able to hear it. And hopefully you can hear the wiggy moving. So that means this SCR, or this solid state relay, is good. So I know that's good. So that then tells me that, what I was suspecting initially, that this board is faulty. And I noticed, I figured that, because when I initially tested it, I tested this, this solid state relay, I had nothing, so then I bypassed it, put load on the one terminal, and it worked. So then I checked the voltage on the other side, so I expected 3 to 32 volts, like the, like the calls for. I got like 0.8 volts or something. So I tried no load, thinking maybe that solid state relay was shorted out. Still nothing. So that kind of led me to think the board, but just to confirm, I wanted to test this solid state relay here. So it looks like there's some kind of issue with this board. I'm guessing there's a blown transistor or something. I checked the resistors and the capacitors. But this it's not much of a circuit board. It's just a bunch of diodes and capacitors and transistors. It's not even that complicated. And one I see, but it's like a $300 board. But of course this is a snapping machine, so they charge whatever they want, even though it's stupid. I think even eBay, that's over like 300 bucks, maybe. I think that's what it looked anyway.